Hi all. Uh, today I'll show you uh, nine things. The uses of a dynamic filter in the dashboard. Okay. So while creating a dashboard, when you create a dashboard, create a dashboard. We have an option okay, that is called add dynamic filter. So let's see uh, what is it used and uh, why it is required. So we'll go to the dynamic portal and we'll configure one dashboard and we'll add some dynamic filters so you can understand why it is required and what is the region of it. Okay. So you can see we have I mean dashboard page and uh, uh, to the dashboard name, just have given the simple name example in add dynamic filter. We have also option, right? Uh, no dynamic filter have been defined for the dashboard, add dynamic filter, right? So let's add some tiles and then we'll apply some dynamic filters. You can understand that uh, why it is required. Yeah, so just I'm trying host health, then service. Just I'm adding one simple things. Then we'll add some graphs also we'll add. We'll take as a CV utilization. Okay. No, let's add. Tell we can give here view. Then we we'll learn down one more. One more we can so we yeah, can increase the graph size, something like this. So we can understand. Now let's add go to the style and here you can add configure tile memory. Okay. Okay. Now we'll take a top list. Okay. So now let's add some dynamic filter. Okay. So this is memory uses. Correct. Memory images. Then the dashboard is created. Okay. Just a normal tile I have added. Now we'll go to that config of we can add dynamic filter. And so I'm typing OS, OS type, and then we'll take uh, Host monitoring mode. We can add host tag key. So host tag key just I'm adding. I'll go any of the host page. Okay. 
Any of the host to go. And the host tag key, right? So I'm taking. Okay. This is a tag key I'm taking. Control C. So yeah, control V. Okay, then let's add service type. Okay, then monitoring mode. Uh, database vendor. application injection type okay. so this many i have added os type monitoring mode tag application injector now if i go to my dashboard now i will show you some magic so you can see we have all those we have 114 now i wanted to see how many linux hosts we have how many windows hosts we have right so now to find that you create a again a data explorer in your Putting some graphs, all those things. You don't do that. Just you go to that operating system type and select for Linux. Enter it. Now we have 85 hosts, right? So, and then 85 hosts, you are seeing the CPU uses and memory uses only for 85 hosts. Okay. For service, it will not select, it will not come. Now, if I remove this, you can see still we have 330, 337 service, right? So now if you wanted to see service type. So how many, what are the web, web request service, right? So you can see now we have 132 web request service. So like this, uh, you can use injection type, auto injected. See, it is getting impacted, right? So like this, you can add uh, multiple types and you can use the filter option, right? So so when you have the filter option, it will be good, right? So no need to create a data data chart and all those things to understand it. You can filter you filter in the dashboard itself. So you have the multiple options uh, in that uh, dynamic filters. You can create, you can add, you can put the tags. So it will work on the tag key, okay? So key it, you need to insert here while adding and value it will show over here. So now if you I have taken one host tag, right? So now see add host group. So it is coming all the group right so if i'll select aix now see one so in that level you can use it okay so now if i'll take another host group so now if i'll take eks see four and now four hosts in case we have a cpu we have memory other side, right so it will get ch changing okay because you are taking the host level right when you take the service level what are the service metrics we have right it will get impacted okay so or the tiles will get impacted will change their data okay so this is the way you can use the dynamic filter okay hope it is clear that's it for this lecture thanks for watching Okay. Thank you guys.